Hey, what's up, y'all? It's poppin' this D. About to react to this video by Finesse News. This is DJ Academic speaks on Sweetie selling less than 2K first week and explains why. This is embarrassing. Less than 2,000 copies? This is insane. Let's hear what he has to say. We don't get to it all, man. I'm gonna speak to this. Let me say that when I'm a little bit more soft, okay? Um... Yeah, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. If you're not in the United States, I know a lot of viewers that's not in the United States. Because he be taking I hope, a while. Um, it was just a regular day, you know what I mean? Um, I hope you still reflected on family. Not that you got to follow U.S. traditions. Boy, we good. We able But Thanksgiving, at least for we'll me, sleep. is a day for family. Okay? <clears throat> Obviously, it has deeper and other customs within the United States, but I'll tell you what I use it for. Um, yeah, we haven't talked in a while, it feels like. Right? Ever since then, you know, we got this beautiful specimen on our screen. Sweetie. Very you know what I mean? I, I, I occasionally call her Streety. You know what I mean? Because her actions... Boy, shut up and, and get to the point. And, and, and it's not being prejudicial. I can only go off objectively what I've heard her say in the message she's putting out. There's nothing wrong with that. She can live her life. I'm not shaming. Um, anyway, the news Remind came down. Talk about these news sales. <clears throat> news came down, people. The news came down that Streety... And by the way, it, I know some of y'all might be new to the stream. You don't follow all this stuff. So sometimes I gotta give context. While some of y'all might know. One of the reasons we also do call her street. Oh, Lord. Um, I don't care. You know what I mean? It's, at least for the majority of people, this is just a, a for the streets answer. When she was on a show with Justin LaBoy, and she was asked, yo, would you ever give, you know what I mean? Like Quavo a threesome. She said, yeah. If I could bring another nigga into the shit. We're like, that's for the streets behavior right now. Okay, whoever took that seriously is stupid. She's obviously saying no because let's have equality. If you want another bitch, can I bring another dude? Is The answer's no? Okay, well, nigga, it, the answer's no for me too. That's what that means, okay? That don't take a rocket science to... No cap, okay? Anyway, um, it came down... He got on my nerves. <laughs> that streety... Not it's take a rocket so scientist to come to that conclusion. Right? Whatever. Well, actually, the weekend. What the fuck? No. I posted that. No, I posted somewhere. I posted that. I posted somewhere. Oh, so this is a day ago. The tracking's over. It's Friday. There's a new tracking week going on. I'll figure out the final. I'm going to go hard to figure out this final. Because 2K sounds ridiculous. Okay? Um, it does. I, I want to put this in context for y'all. Okay? So, Streety... She dropped a mixtape called The Single Life. Now, I know, y'all have been I hit. heard it too. Here's it's funny fucking thing. terrible. Y'all probably have never seen it's so this bad. tape. But y'all have seen her twerk. Like, look at some of the views on this shit. Just look. Excuse look, me. Look, over 3.9 million. Oh, he on Holy Instagram? Shit. He not showing it. Look like this. Look. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> 7.4 million. 14,000 comments. Damn. Look at her, little bikini. She oh got God. 13 million One followers and million. only 2,000 of them niggas. She's, she's showing more, well, just skin. 1.3 million. Now, I'm going to be very careful. I know y'all want me to just go in and just eviscerate. But I'm going to tell you why I'm going to be careful. Because you're going to have some, you know, some unscrupulous individuals that are going to try to twist my words to act like I don't keep the same energy, whether it's with men, women, or anybody else. I'm the, I'm the person who who made it known that Young Bands was fucking flopping and you got people like, you know, um, Quando Rondo... Sold 3K at yeah, I don't agree when people say that about him. I've watched enough of his videos to witness that he he goes in on dudes as well. So people who say, "Oh, he only be going in on women," you just don't watch his content. So j just say that. There's no point in you making shit up. This man goes in on fucking Meek Mill. <laughs> he hates him. You know, he went in on Rory and Ma. Uh, that whole situation. He he didn't stop going in on them. God damn, I got tired of hearing about that. Like he's gone in on several men. He was just talking shit about little baby. Call him short bus babe. This man goes in on women and men, so let's stop with with that. That's fake. Right. So I, I try. I keep the same energy across the board. He does. Um, I, I don't have a problem with you. He's still annoying sometimes, beautiful. but I might not understand, he, or he might not like. You know, I, it's not my particular um, type of thing with some of her ideals to deal with men. But that's just up to her prerogative. You know what I mean? Do you? If she want to, you know, what I mean, rich nigga, six nigga, ten inch dick nigga, whatever she want to do. If that's her type, cool. I don't give a fuck. Doesn't okay, cool. Me. We're not even in the same dating caliber. Or, I'm glad or you know. Caliber, like, Move on. Ecosphere. She dates celebrities. I really don't date people who <laughs> usually have anything. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't so date anything people I say who about have this anything. is strictly music, and I have to preface this, and I hate that I got to do this because 
And also, you're gonna notice, I, this is why I'm addressing this at the beginning of the stream before I get to the later part of the stream. I know the more Casamigos I take, I start shouting. I'm hey, passionate. that's my I'm shit. Because I'm passionate. Reposado. It doesn't look good when you're shouting. That's it's my shit. Supposed to be a woman. Even though I shouted to dudes too, but it's, it's cool. So we're gonna be very, I, I gotta watch my tone, but still deliver the message. And it's okay, you know? I get paid a lot, and this is why, you know, I put the, the, the oldest on me to do it. I'll say this, okay? Um, Obviously, you know, I have nothing against her not targeting her. I'm going off the, the facts like everybody else. I'm one person who cares about sales. I usually very, um, it, I think the sales will, will kind of tell you how the market feels about these individuals. Mm. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is going to shock you out a little bit. I was not surprised by Sweetie sales. Not no, at all. Now, I'm going to put You guys have probably never seen the tape. Because you guys are probably, I could I mean, probably sell more than let's, just be cool, let's be clear. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the, these artists always look at, oh, no, they're just watching me dance and listen to song. No, most of these people who are liking your picture, all these one point three, this niggas whacking off you. Let's let's really be honest. A lot of these artists, especially women, that's why I'm, I'm gonna use Glorilla. Not to, I'm not trying to suppose both artists against each other, I but I'm gonna use Glorilla as a point. Um, later, but Sweetie, and, okay, can we put the Spotify right now? Oh, that's what should be Spotify. So this is Sweetie on Spotify. Okay, um, this is the the EP she dropped. Now, granted, it's an EP. So I'm not expecting it to do crazy things, okay? It's an Glorilla's EP. is also an now, EP. I want to say that. 30-something, 33. Glorilla, essentially, who dropped the project, okay? Glorilla dropped an EP as well with a bunch of songs that you've kind of heard already, except she got traction. She got some motion out here, okay? So Glorilla did 30K on, a, on an EP. So Glorilla did 30K on an EP, right? Keep in mind, and again, I'm not trying to put women against each other. You know, somebody's going to try to make it look like I'm doing this in bad faith. Yeah. I just want to show you what... Glorilla Instagram. I just want to show you when, when you care about the music and you focus on the music, it's different. Glorilla, 2.5 million followers. Oh, okay, gosh. Glorilla, here we go. Glorilla, 2.5 million followers. Sweetie, 13 million. Okay? Uh, they got roughly about the same songs on both of their projects. Glorilla, who is le with less followers, does 30K first week on an EP. Sweetie, with 10 million extra followers does 2k crazy crazy okay let me go back to uh here and, and let me pull back up sweetie now again i hate that this whole segment but you know they, they, they try to make it seem like i'm just so unfair to female artists i gotta give you the mad disclaimers bro because i'm keeping it a hundred but the people who don't like me, or some women who want to make a certain narrative about me, they're going to try to twist it. Oh, he's only getting that woman like that. No, it's not the case. I was doing it for other male rappers. And by the way, we're going to do it for some other male rappers this stream. Anyway, the point is this. And, and, and let me start laying out some facts. All that icy girl shit, that's like having shade, the shade room. You, you remember when, um, when Ari was mad at me? And she said, yo, my name ain't Moneybag, yo, girlfriend. My name is Ari Fletcher. Oh. And I was like, whoa, they're shorty? I don't know you like that. Also, my audience might not know you. They know you for being attached to a rapper that you have kids with, g and another rapper that you're dating. You might be a shade room. Let me tell you how this. A shade room, A-list celebrity, <laughs> but in the rap community. Yeah, they don't get know. it confused. Now, I know Everybody Sweetie's rap. The shade room but let me tell you this. Sweetie don't got no fan base. And I've got to be honest with y'all. So there's no fan base to Sweetie. Damn. This is where social media starts fucking us all up. Because it's hard to see if I showed you if I showed you somebody's Instagram page with 393 likes, look, 2 million views on everything. She showed off her nails, it's 200,000. If you, if 200,000 people could look at her fucking nails, you would tell me that 2 million, like she she looks, 13 million Because she's 13 really million pretty. Check out the song. That's it. You want to see the streams? You want to see the streams? I showed the streams on, 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 on the joint. Oh, I just actually played that game in the stream. But her music is fucking atrocious. Her it's so EP bad. has about 1.4 million songs. And this is all the songs combined. At least on Spotify. Um, all the songs obviously, people can buy songs. It's that third. And I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking to talk right now. So maybe I should just hit key points. I'm not surprised Sweetie don't sing. Sweetie don't got a fan base. Not in music. Sweetie, like many other female rappers, they promote okay, and they, they live off sexuality and beauty. But let's keep it real. They're fan they don't have fans for music. A lot of them chicks on the shade room, right? They love relationship drama. Remember when they were calling Saweetie and Quavo a fucking power couple? Which power couple Ooh. could exist when the female 
component of it. Essentially, can't EP can't sell two thousand units. Sheesh. But this is where the shade room comes in with this bullshit. Now, granted, I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Sweetie probably got way more money than than, than Glorilla because nowadays, and this is why I said Ice Spice will be fine. Ice Spice is gonna be fine, right? Because these days, you can make more money off your looks than your raps, unless you're like Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, or one of those. Sweetie, just based on her engagement on her Instagram, is probably making a hundred times more from her social presence than her music career. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. Now, I know you're probably going to say a couple of things. Well, what do you mean show got no fan base? Nigga, what are you talking about? I will break it down. I tried to do it while I was playing the songs. Now, let me tell you what Sweetie's career has been. And I'm not trying to down her. And for all you people, going to be like, yo, act when you're picking on women. No, I do say anybody. Okay? This happens to be like a woman's a culprit to them. Sorry. If you look at Sweetie, Sweetie, I, I'm not, because some of these artists, I don't want to, I'm not trying to throw strays at them, but there's Sweetie and two to three more artists that are females. It's like four of them. It's a four pack. Okay? A four pack? <laughs> they don't have an original bone in their body. Mm. Their best song is sampling some other shit that either your older brother liked, your uncle liked, or maybe your daddy mm. or mommy. My type? My that's type. frequently, nigga. Stop mm. it. And that's crazy because that is literally the only song I've ever liked by her. Uh, Best Friend wasn't terrible. And I've never downloaded her it myself though, but I've heard it randomly on Instagram. And I didn't think it was terrible only because I'm thinking of Doja, to be honest. I'm thinking of Doja, Doja Cat. Because she sung the chorus, right? That's my best friend. She a real bad bitch. Was that Doja song or Sweetie's? Anyway, the point is, I've never liked a song of Sweetie's except my type. But that was a sample. So I, I really like the beat, but that wasn't her beat. Let's keep it a beat! They don't have no fan it's base. Also, another is that Doja or her? This is why I think he shits on all of them. They not writing their music! They got writers writing the music to old school samples that people go like. No, that's anyway. Sweetie's song. It's a creative hit. It's, it's like the same no way cat. these girls go to Miami, go get the build a body. The pretty girls get in the industry. That's why I said Ice Spice is going to last. Whether she drops another hit or not, she's cute. She's not arguing with people. She's not coming off as ratchet. She is going to be in that realm where even the music career don't last. Shit. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but shit, if she ever announced her OnlyFans, five million in the day, she ain't going to stop five million. Let's just be honest. Sweetie's career is built on samples. The majority of the female rappers' careers are built on sing-over samples. Now, I know somebody's going to say, so I'm going to answer these things while I'm going. Yo, but, but male rappers use samples too. You don't get at them. We would get at any male rapper who are, whose whole career is based on taking a whole song and just singing it in... Well, I mean, obviously the females are singing the female way, but you're just singing it verbatim. Verbatim. I played Burner Boy. Last last is a sample. So I'm like, I think it's like Tony Braxton. He's not using Tony Braxton cadence. Tony Braxton's like whole thing to facilitate the song. No. Flip it. A lot of these female artists, I'm telling you, and this is why when you sign a female artist now, the number one thing, this is why Nikki is in a bind. Nikki don't even know how to be for these newer girls. You know why? These newer chicks not getting signed off talent. They're getting signed off looks. You gotta be a bad bitch. You get a bad bitch. And hope, well, I mean, like, it's not just any bad bitch. Get a bad bitch that look up to catch one, you get a whole career out of it. That's it. Let's keep it real. If you look at Sweetie's top ten songs, like, I, I'm not trying to disrespect her. But you might think it's disrespect because the truth, when it's not favorable, oftentimes it's seen as disrespect. Right, everybody think it's disrespect. But there's ain't one original bone in her body or her writer's body. Damn. This is sample on sample. Yeah, Let's try to do this. Right. That's working. I try and to get I'm going to tell you, too. this is why when everybody sits and is in awe of young boy, like, how you have so many fans like this, that love anything you know? You know what? Yo, I talk to a lot of artists. You know what that hating artists say about young boy? Yo, yo, he's so popular, but nobody can name no songs. Yeah, but his fans support every song. You got to go remake a song and get two hot features to have a song that works. His fans support everything he do. Here's the problem. The majority of these people don't got no fan base. So here's the thing now. Sorry, I probably sound nasty. See I'm sick. Right. Whether it's the Quavo, whether it's going to the drama, whether anything at all, it looks like she has a fan base. 20,000 people on Shade Room comment. They look like they love her. You look at her social media. You see millions of people liking her posts, interacting with her. She's very attractive. 
But let's keep it real. Mm-hmm. Sweetie is like most of these other artists, female artists. I, I gotta be specific. I'm not picking on females, but it's true. Mostly about female artists. They're cosplaying as rappers. They're nothing but IG models that's mm-hmm. literally getting propelled because mm-hmm. there's a label and a writing team slaving away. Y'all talking about OVO sweatshop? Y'all talking about the OVO sweatshop? Do we gotta nigga? Maybe I should spin off into this. Maybe I'll spin off of this and come back. Did y'all see this? 130 Lotto songs got leaked. Here's the funny thing. This was the funniest part about it, Chad. This kind of goes into my point of what I was talking about on the Little Kim video. Like, none of these women are going to have any longevity when your whole image is surrounded around how you look and how good you look. Well, she's not even having any success now, so I can't even say this is the case with Saweetie because she's not even doing well now. <laughs> but even the girls who are doing well now, it's like when you're making your whole image based on how good you look, how sexy you are, and like you, you, you're not gonna have any longevity. You're not gonna have the longevity that Jay Z or Nas or whoever has because it's based on how you look. That's the issue. Okay, it's not based not on the talent. Great. That's why I fuck with Glorilla. But all of a sudden, because it's just based on how she it. sounds. You know why? It was all demos and references. A lot of people are confused. What? what what's going on? Like, yo, wait, wait. Who's right for who? No. All of your favorite female rappers are working with the same writing team. It's five, it's five niggas and three girls writing every song for every female rapper. Mm-hmm. Except like Nicki and, you know what I mean, Meg. Nicki Meg. That's what yeah, happened I'm with the whole lot of situations. Obviously, I ain't talking about the lyrical, lyrical girls. You know, there's some lyrical, lyrical girls who really pet, but the rest of them, let's keep it a bean. Yo, the label, the label booked y'all because y'all bad, y'all look good, women want to be y'all. The label probably told y'all, yo, go get in a relationship that we can sell this shit. And then the label go tell the writing team, yo, write a song, and we gonna shop, we gonna ship, we gonna shop it to Carla Ray, we gonna shop it to her. No, no, no I heard a musician, I heard it, but like we gonna shop it to this chick. I, I'm just trying to not call too much names because like I know this is gonna go viral. And I want people to be like, what, what, what? But come on, I did say this now. Y'all don't want to see the writing credits on these 130 leaked songs. <sighs> people started saying, wait, why is she? People thought that Lotto wrote for other girls. That ain't what happened. Who the fuck thought that? Lotto was just singing over some of the hooks. Or some of the, doing some of the verses, kind of. Well, let me say hooks, because I don't know. Maybe she do do her verses. She was just doing a, so all that Quinn Miller shit niggas got mad at Drake for it? I remember that. <laughs> There's a writer giving all the female rappers the hooks. There's writing camps. There's sweatshops. Now, granted, obviously they're not Drake level, so we like, who gives a fuck? Like, who cares? Who cares if... If, if Carla Rae wrote Blick, Blick. <laughs> I, I don't even know. Blick, Blick, Blick. Yeah, Carla, who gives a fuck? It's not a lyrical masterpiece. Like, nobody says, oh my God, who thought of Blick, Blick? Well, what a bad fuck? bitch like so me keep really on wishing, care, baby. <laughs> but let's just keep it on me. <laughs> what rap is, and this is why Nikki keeps shitting on all these women, is because Nikki's looking at y'all like, none of y'all right. Y'all, ain't, y'all all untalented. But this is why Nikki keep losing, though, because the only thing that these chicks really got signed for that they got over Nikki? Their age. I won't say beauty, because Nikki is beautiful. But they got youth. These chicks are 22, 23, 24, 25. And this Nikki goes beautiful. into what I was saying. <laughs> but essentially, I'm telling you what it is now, man. I repeat myself. If you were surprised that Sweetie, a.k.a. Streety, I see y'all coming up with all type of stuff. Oh, no. That must be the ghost of Takeoff haunting her all to right. fucking over my I dog Take uh, Quavo. No. I hate people. I'm going to bring Takeoff in this, the man. Ghost. Rest in peace, Takeoff. Sweetie, don't got no fucking Are y'all face. dumb? Yo, I swear. Y'all are dumb. I swear. Y'all can clip this if y'all want. Sweetie. Y'all mean the people who said that. Lipsticks, face products, and if she started a wig line, oh my God. 100,000. <laughs> 100,000 first week. Yeah, she should focus on if the beauty industry. Like, I'm, I'm not going to use the word. That's my natural girl. inclination. Not to suspect, but that's my natural inclination. But I won't. I'm going to be careful. If Sweetie so, you know them chicks, the ratchet chicks with the bushy lashes that look like if they blink <laughs> three times, they might start levitating, they might fly away. <laughs> if she so some lashes. Yes, sweetie. Dude, Get your lashes like back, like, bitch. These chicks can't sell a fucking lick of music. They got the look as the rapper. She got all the chains. She got the watch. She got the bracelet. But she don't got the... Music, rap, 
rabbits. Hey, he ain't lying. I can't lie. He he get on my nerves sometimes, but he he's speaking facts. You know, in in this moment, um, I listened to Sweetie's EP, and it is so bad. It is so bad. Like there's nothing on there that I can work with at all that I can listen to ever. There's no lyrical talent. None of the songs are catchy or memorable. It's it's a waste. Like why did you put this out? I would have rather you put up an Instagram story and address the situation with Lil Baby. If that's the case, then you dropping this EP. This shit is trash. It's and I really try to give her a chance because I do want to like her because she's cute <laughs> and she's a female rapper and I'm always trying to support female rappers and give them chances. So, you know, I, I tried to get into her music, but I can't fucking do it. I can't keep torturing myself like this. I'm not listening to her anymore. It's just, it's terrible. She needs to stop and uh, take advantage of her following and sell some shit. I, I totally agree with that. Sell some lashes, wigs, or whatever the fuck you got to do because this music thing is not for you. You're not, you're not a good rapper. You're not. Why, why are you keep trying to, to do this? I don't get it. Why, why is her team not telling her, okay, let's let's take this in a different direction. Maybe after these terrible sales, they will, you know, have that conversation with her. Uh, but, girl, it's not working out for you. This is this is a waste. This is a hot-ass mess. But, anyway, maybe some of y'all liked it. Let me know. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about the video. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.